It's truly amazing That spirit of Christmas This is the bed that used to be in Ruby's room that's now in Elodie's. Looks like there's some space saver bags where there were some same things inside of. And here's how Elodie has kept her room up. I don't know how long it's been. A week. The room has really been moved around quite a bit and it's a lot more spacious. This is actually how Ruby's room was pretty much set up when she first moved in and then we decided to Things. And look, and it actually looks like string, right? But you can still hold on to it. Oh, that's okay. Good morning. You guys should see the sky right now. Um, it looks so beautiful. We call it Elodie's sky because it's her absolute favorite. And you can hear Polly squeaking her little toy in the background. I have a tree that isn't lit. Shame on me. I need to light that. Just realized that. I'm watching Chelsea from Chelsea Makes, her Vlogmas, which is on Patreon. And then we have this sky, which just looks so pretty. So anyway, I am working on my cozy comfort blanket, which is just growing and growing and growing. I do love today's color so much. It's absolutely beautiful. So I've just arrived at the studio and I have like the biggest no moment because I just turned on my coffee, the little heater that I got to heat up my cup and I don't have a mug of coffee. I don't have any coffee. I took all of the coffee cups home to wash yesterday and this morning as I was making my coffee, I thought be sure that you remember to bring a cup of coffee, a cup so that you can make some coffee when you arrive at the studio. Today I'm packaging up your orders. Hope that you guys love them. I do have an oven to empty. Sorry, this is in black and white, but we have some Patreon minis going on in here. Super exciting. I've already gotten all my work done that I've done in the studio. I just didn't film because I wanted to get in and out and head home. Um, but while I was doing a bit of packaging, I had Tristan on from Dragon Horde Yarn. I love her Vlogmas. I've met her before and she's just a very nice person. So I've really enjoyed watching her Vlogmas this year. Anyway, she has a pattern out called the Burrow Mitts and they're a pair of fingerless mittens. Super sweet. And I think they would be great on our non-superwash yarns. So I have been staring at Butternut. This is it on non superwash. It speckles really beautifully. I have Ivor on non superwash. I don't know. I think there are so many colors that could be so pretty. I think Butternut and Aubergine would be really pretty um, together. I also think Wild Oat, oh my gosh, would be so pretty with Apple Crisp. Look at these, you guys. So pretty. Also with Ivor, I mean. Oh, I'm just dreaming about knitting a pair of those with non-superwash yarn. So squishy and amazing. Speaking of Tristan, I'm actually wearing the Everyday Slouchy Beanie designed by Tristan Molina out of, I think this is knit out of, it's knit out of Lincoln, the same color as the last hat that I was wearing with those pretty pine trees. And then I've paired it with rose gold mohair. Love this hat so much. I've knit, I don't know, six, seven, eight of them. Such a great warm pattern. Hello there. Molly just made an awesome lunch. I haven't tried it though. It looks great. And it's one of my probably 20 favorite foods. It's spaghetti bolognese, 
So, spaghetti bolon, bolognese, spaghetti bolognese. And yeah, it looks great. The, I'll, I'll give you a little look. So good. Ruby loves pesto. And Caitlin has bolognese too. This morning, I baked a loaf of country white sourdough bread. This afternoon, I have prepared some dough for some bagels. Let me just share these with you guys. So this is the dough. It's already had its first rise and now it's going to have its second rise for about eight hours tonight. And then after it's had its second rise, I'm actually going to put it in the refrigerator. I've never ever done that before. And that means that tomorrow morning when I wake up, I think I'll have to set it out for two hours before I can prepare the bagels. And I've never made sourdough bagels. So I think that they have to boil and then cook. girls and I have been at the physical therapy and now we're going home and we are making some dinner and today I worked a little bit, Molly worked a little bit, we spent some time with the girls. tell you you look so tired and you slept until what 9 30. yeah but 9? i slept terrible in the night i was out a couple times yeah and i had a headache when i woke up that doesn't happen yeah, we both did i think it's just because of the weather change something yeah it's weird with the weather but definitely possible i am currently drinking a glass of wine that robert brought me i think robert's having a beer sitting next to me watching a little bit of soccer Polly's cuddled up next to me, and uh, of course I'm knitting on my blanket. So the girlies are asleep. I think it sounds pretty quiet in there. I think they fell asleep listening to a Connie audiobook. We're just settling in and getting cozy for the evening, and we hope that you guys had a really, really nice day, and we'll see you in the morning. Good night. Good night.